In this training, we're going to talk about using account numbers in your chart of accounts. Okay, right now I don't have account numbers turned on, but what I can do is go up to Edit, Preferences, Accounting, over to Company Preferences. Now make sure that you're in as the administrative user, the admin user. Check Use Account Numbers and say OK. Here are all my account numbers filled in here. Okay, it's a couple things with using account numbers. First of all, when you do decide to use them, they will show up on your reports. If the owner does not like seeing that, there's a little workaround that you can do on each of your accounts. You can edit it, and where it says account name, put that in the account description. Okay, so I'm going to just do this example on the cash here. So petty cash, petty cash is in the description, savings, savings in the description. Okay, so now one of my preferences that I can choose on the report side is to have my description only on my reports. So what that's going to do, and only pay attention to the cash side because I only fixed a couple, is when I go and run my balance sheet now, notice no account numbers, only the description that's in that field, that description field when you edit the account. So that's a way for you to be able to use account numbers in your day-to-day -day life, but still keep it off of your reports, okay? So why use account numbers? A lot of people have gotten used to, especially when you're doing a tremendous amount of data entry on the accounts payable side uh, or payroll side, you get used to account numbers rather than necessarily names. QuickBooks made things a little different with this, and I'm sure they weren't the first ones, but my first exposure to it, a little different with things when you enter a, a bill or, or a create an invoice here. When you're doing your data entry and, you know, us as, a, as accounting experts, we like to use our 10 key. So if I start typing in six, I already know six is my expense account, 602, I don't have a 602, 65. Okay, here's my telephone and my utilities. All right, so I can know 65100, keep going. It's a quick way for me to get that account in there. However, at the same time, you can all always type in telephone. So there's two fast ways to get your information and choose which account you want quickly and easily. Some people are used to using the account numbers and using your 10 key to enter those in. Some people are used to just typing telephone, especially when you have newer people working there. If y'all are using account numbers, it's best, you know, the, Teaching them to type in telephone is easy because they're going to know, here's a bill from AT&T, it's a telephone expense. Um, so, you, you know, using the, the account numbers can get kind of tedious when you have turnover, but if you've been there for a long time, a lot of people like using those, okay? They're not necessary. That's one thing that a lot of people don't need. No. Sometimes they make your job easier. I don't use them for my accounting and my books, uh, so it's okay to not use, I'm going to change this back to name only, change the accounting preferences to not use my account numbers. And that's why to or not to use account numbers in QuickBooks.